Hey VR heads, it's Cymatic Bruce, um, here with another vid. Uh, first I want to start off by thanking everyone for all the kudos and support, it's really cool. Um, I just wanted to make a video uh, that I thought everyone would like, had some of the stuff that I was wondering about before I got my kit, um, so really appreciate all of the uh, all of the real, real positivity. That's awesome. Um, this is exactly what this community should be about. I've changed some things around a little bit. Um, I'm wearing a bandana. Uh, I think it'll make uh, well. It makes the taking the rift on and off a little bit easier with my hair not getting in the way and all that good stuff. This is going to be some UDK stuff. I'm going to play a few UDK levels. Um, one important thing to remember about UDK: um, you can't play in editor with the with the rift nothing will be recognized I was pressing F8 and I thought that was um, a different mode but that's still just playing in the editor so that was my bad you actually have to go to the menu on the top of the screen uh, and select um, start this level on PC um, so this is epic citadel Let's go ahead and uh, Put this on. Whoa. All right. Something I did change is that I, I changed the um, the IPD, and now everything looks a little bit weird. Um, you can actually change the IPD manually. I changed it to 0.66. Let me change it to 0.0. .0 six zero um let's see how that looks let me get out of the way okay that's actually better my eyes feel more more relaxed there so that's pretty good according to my optometrist my IPD is 66 um millimeters but uh looks like the game thinks a little different and that's fine Excellent. Neat. Um, so this character does Bob Wally walks, and that doesn't feel too bad, I guess. Um, that doesn't feel bad at all. I wish I could move a little bit slower, though. Oh, wow, that's really neat. Wow, it just opens up. That's very interesting. Wow, this post is so much taller than I am. Whoa. <laughs> It gets me every time. If I walk close to a wall, then I'll start to, I'll flinch. Like, it's involuntary. It feels like it's in my face. It's really strange. Uh, uh, looking up into the tree, like having the leaves fall down, that, that is really awesome. That is a really cool effect. Right, epic courtyard. Um, this is one that is not very exciting. But the thing that struck me here is that I really get a sense of how big the courtyard is. Like, I'm in the middle of the courtyard, and everything just seems so far away. Like, like I, I would have to walk pretty far to get to the walls or to the gate over there. It looks much bigger than it does on screen. Or I do something called the foliage map. It is... Uh, it's a pretty cool map. It has like this kind of Inca looking temple and it has all these trees and all this stuff going on. So that is really cool and I've wanted to see this for a little while. It has like just a lot of graphic detail which is really neat. And I want to see what it's working with here. Uh -huh. Oh, all right. Nice lighting effects and everything. Let's see what we got. Oh, that is, whoa, that's really close to me. <laughs> oh, that's really cool. Ooh. God, I wish I had positional tracking. I want to look at this thing up close. Okay, something odd. I think it must be the gameplay mode. But one is that there's a red dot in the middle of the screen um, to show maybe what I'm looking at. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Like the crosshair or something? 
but it's just a red dot. So I'm not I'm not sure what that is. The other thing is that my left eye has real time shadows and my right eye is missing those shadows. So there's a lighting difference between my left eye and my right eye and that is making everything look very strange. Oh wow, looking into the light is really neat. But yeah, it seems like there's lighting differences all over the place. Which is, yeah, it's kind of, oh, fast. Ooh. <laughs> um, so I'm not sure what this that what that is about. Uh, it's uh, I heard of similar issues happening in um, from the guy that did uh, Torque 3D that there was some uh, some issues with lighting differences uh, between the left and right eye. Um, and that is a shame. This is a really fantastic level. The sound is wonderful in there. It has a really sense of ambiance. It's really great. Um, time to open something completely different. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, open the VCTF Necropolis and see how that rolls. Okay. Give this another shot here. All right. Now, now we're now we're talking. Holy shit. Okay. Nice. This. Oh, that's so cool. Feels like I can just reach up and grab that thing. Alright. Excellent. Again, this character in UT Deathmatch mode. There is a, um, a red dot in the center of each eye. Uh, and there's also a slight head bob when the character moves. Which is not bad. Whoa! Okay, the icon, the contextual icon that comes up that tells you to get in the vehicle, it's not taken in consideration I have two eyes. So I, I'm seeing double of that right now. Um, so it's like one on each eye. That's weird. But I'm going to get in the vehicle. Whoa! Ha! <laughs> that is... That is... Wow, it's turning with my head. Are you serious? Oh my god, this is trippy. I'm not feeling sick, so that's good. This makes me think that F-Zero might be sick as hell with this. It's so weird going down and like, look, like... It's like my head moves forward. Oh! Ouch! Oh wow, wow, that's, <laughs> as soon as I pick up speed, that's a really crazy sensation. Alright. That's awesome. Oh, it's energy packet. It's so low to the ground. You never think about things like this, like, <laughs> why is the energy so low to the ground? Um, Sweet. Uh, I think that concludes like the the UDK stuff. Uh, trying some of the UDK awesomeness. Cool. UDK for life. Awesome. Uh, all right. Excellent. Thanks for watching. Peace.